So as your as the number of people who follow you on Twitter expands, you feel the burden of the uglier sides of humanity. Yes, but there is also a similar thing in uh, in the normal world. That is, yeah. if you become more influential, if you have more status, if you have more fame in the real world, you have uh, you get uh, lots of perks, but you also uh, have way less freedom in the way in which you interact with people, especially with strangers, because a certain percentage uh, of people, it's a small single digit perspe- uh, percentage is nuts and dangerous. Mm-hmm. And uh, th- uh, the more of those are looking at you, uh, the more of them might get ideas. But what if the technology enables you to discover the majority of people, to discover and connect efficiently and regularly with the majority of people who are actually really good? I mean, one of my sort of concerns with a platform like Twitter is there's a lot of really smart people out there, a lot of smart people that disagree with me and with others between each other. And I love that if the technology would bring those to the top, the beautiful disagreements, like uh, Intelligence Squared type of debates. There's a bunch of, I mean, one of my favorite things to listen to is arguments and arguments like high effort arguments with the respect and love underneath it, but then it gets a little too heated, but that kind of too heated, which I've seen you participate in, and I love that, uh, with Lee Cronin, with th- those kinds of folks, and you go pretty hard, like you get frustrated, but it's all beautiful. With Lee, I can do this because uh, we know each other. Yes. And uh, Lee is uh, has the rare gift of being willing to be wrong in public. Yeah. So basically, he has thoughts that are as wrong as the random thoughts of, yeah. of an average highly intelligent person, but he blurts them out mm-hmm. while not being sure if they're right. Mm-hmm. And uh, he enjoys doing that. And uh, once you understand that this is his game, you don't get offended by him saying something that you think is mi- so wrong. But he's constantly passively communicating a respect for the people he's talking with yeah. and for just basic humanity and truth and all that kind of stuff. And there's a self-deprecating thing. There's a bunch of like social skills you acquire that allow you to be a great debater, a great argumenter, like be wrong in public and explore ideas together in public when you disagree. And if I would love for Twitter to elevate those folks, elevate those kinds of conversations. It already does in some sense, but uh, also if it elevates them too much, then uh, you get this phenomenon of clubhouse where you, you always get dragged on stage. And I found this very stressful because it was too intense. Yeah, I, I don't like to be dragged on stage all the time. Yeah. I think once a week is enough. Yeah. And also when I met Lee the first time, I found that a lot of people seem to be shocked by the fact that he was uh, being very aggressive with their results, that he didn't seem to show a lot of sensibility in, in the way in which he was criticizing what they were doing and being dismissive of the work of others. And uh, th- that was not, I think, in any way a shortcoming of him because I noticed that he was much, much more dimis- dismissive with respect to his own work. Mm-hmm. It was his general stance. And mm-hmm. I felt that this general stance is creating a lot of liability for him because really a lot of people take offense at, at him being not like a uh, Dale Carnegie character who is always smooth and make it, uh, sure that everybody likes him. So I really respect that he is willing to take that risk and uh, to be wrong in public and to offend people. And he doesn't do this in, in any bad way. It's just most people feel, or not all people, recognize this. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I can be much more aggressive with him than I can be with many other people who don't play the same game because he understands the way and the spirit in which I respond to him. I think that's a fun and that's a beautiful game. It's ultimately a productive one.